South Australia, what an amazing place. G'day and welcome to the show. Well, this week, I'm here down near Port Lincoln. And have a look at this for a setting. Just amazing, rugged coastline, headland after headland, beaches dotted all the way to Western Australia. The great thing about down here, not many people and loads of fish. It's always a long road to travel whenever I go fishing in South Australia. And the rougher the road, the better the fishing. Some of the best Aussie salmon fishing I've ever enjoyed has been on the most remote and rugged beaches. And bouncing along this rutted track with my mate Fuzz reminds me of many a mad session on whiting. On this trip, I'm pushing the boundaries further than ever before, exploring a creek system that looks like a perfect habitat for South Australia's black brim. The fishing options in South Australia is the reason why this place is one of my favourite fishing destinations. There's so many different options from beaches and headlands to creeks and bays and to the open water. It seems to have it all. Great species, remoteness, everything I like. I've trekked here with another local mate and we're settled in for a sizzling session. Oh, there we go. I'm fishing with Tom Tierney. It's a lovely little creek. This is where Tom said he just spotted a few fish, so the fish have moved off and moved right onto one of my beautiful prawn baits, so pretty cool stuff. I don't think it's a big fish, this one. We're just here on the bank. It's only a short hole, and we're using pretty light gear. But he's running me all over the place here. Ha-ha! <laughs> Woo! Good stuff. It's gone right along the edge here. Beautiful, nice and easy. Thanks for that, Tom. A bit smaller one. A bit smaller. Uh, he's been living a pretty nice life. Nice, easy release of this fish. Yeah, we'll just slide him in here, mate. Don't fall in. No, don't fall in. There's a lot of mud down there. Oh, I've done it before. All right, there you go. Round you go. Oh. Away. Well, like all creek and estuary fishing, the gear you need to use is nice and light. I've got a two to five kilo, three zero Shimano blank. Beautiful little setup. Enough power down below here and really light on the tip so I can get a nice long cast. This is a fantastic little rod and it's matched up with this Stratic 2500 and four pound braided line going down to a fluorocarbon trace of eight pound. Now the fluorocarbon trace makes it almost invisible to the fish down there in the water. I've got him. Hey, what? He's pulling some line. Yeah, they're good fish. Nice. Yeah, I'll get the net. The water's a little bit discoloured and there's a lot of green weed around the edges and uh, right at the moment the tide's running out. Now these fish push all the way up. I'm just going to try to work this fish out. Oh, here he comes. Oh, nice fish. He's a good fish, eh? What a cracker. That's about average. Yeah, about average. Wow. Well, that's a good fish. Nice big black brim. Fantastic. Big tail working. Looks really solid. Let's try to keep him coming. Oh, look at that, eh? <laughs> he's a botlet. And he's sort of an average fish for the creek up here. He'd be over a kilo. Gosh, yeah, nice weighty fish. This is exactly what we're after. Tom said, yeah, there might be a chance of catching a, a black brim in the creek. We came in here. Got lucky. Well, very happy about that. We'll slip that hook out and we'll put him back in. Mm -hmm. 
Without this, it wouldn't be a South Australian fishing trip. Heading out into Spencer Gulf on Fuzzle's boat is almost a local ritual for me. And this is why. With fishing grounds as rich and healthy as this, I always know that casting out into these Spencer Gulf waters is almost a certainty to be worthwhile. Oh, yes. First cab off the rank. <laughs> not a bad squid there, Fuzz. <laughs> not to be outdone. Not to be outdone. Oh, Fuzz. 36 centimetres. Well, we're out here on the Spencer Gulf off Arno Bay, and I'm out with the Fuzz, and he is the man. Another squid. Oh. Keeper? Yep. No, they're all keepers. They're all keepers. Nice whiting, look at that. Beautiful. Oh, cool. I think I might have hooked your line there, big fella. There we go. It's one of the Shimano beautiful white jigs. Look at that. And that's what you catch your squid on. They're weighted here, depending on the depth of water that you're fishing in. We've got the lead on the bottom, two droppers, some nice Gamakatsu sharp hooks, and then we've got the jig up on top. And they are down there. And they are down there, as Fuzz can uh, highly recommend. Another one, Fuzz. Yes, just trickling in at a nice pace. Yeah, but, oh, this is a nice, nice squid too. Yeah, but beauty. Always like to handle them from the back of the head too, don't you? Because uh, if you've ever been bitten by one of these things, they take a fair chunk out of you, don't they? They've got a serious beak in there, Fuzz, yeah. haven't they? Numbers game, isn't it? If you, oh. you catch enough squid, you're gonna get inked at some stage. <laughs> <laughs> some stage during the day. Got me. Ooh. Oh, both sides. Look at that one up the top. That's a weedy white. Incredibly unusual fish. I mean, do they anyone eat these? Nah, we don't. don't oh, tend to well them. done, hey, Fuzz. Yeah. Happy days. Happy days, mate. Yeah, I think the blue's the female. The uh, is the male. Sorry, the pretty yeah. one and. Uh, the female are a greeny sort of colour. Ooh. Oh yeah. Look at that. Let's have a look down here. Where's it all? Top hook, he got your bottom hook, didn't he? Good on you, Fuzz. Yes. A little bit Target of Target species, mate. Yes. Oh, nice and fish. He's... Oh, yeah. <laughs> if you've never been inked, you probably can't yet call yourself a fully seasoned fisho, at least in southeast Australia. Australia have four key species of the squirt happy mollusk. Today we're focusing on the southern calamari, and they're a very common catch for those of us who live and fish anywhere from the whole of New South Wales, Victoria, and Tasmania, and right around to the far edge of South Australia. These are the zones where the species is fished commercially. Stock status is reported at jurisdictional level from South Australia, Tasmania, Victoria, New South Wales and the Commonwealth Trawl Sector Ocean Fishery. The most recent stock assessment in South Australia concluded that the resource was being harvested within sustainable limits. A Victorian stock assessment in 2008 suggested that the abundance of these calamari had actually increased since 1998. So the Victorian and South Australian fisheries are classified as having sustainable stock. There is insufficient data from Tasmania, New South Wales and the Commonwealth to call their stock anything other than undefined. South Australia is the major calamari producing state with about 430 tonne caught commercially every year and another 300 tonnes caught recreationally. Tasmania is a long way second, with 66 and 45 tonnes respectively. Victoria has a commercial harvest of around 30 tonne. Less than 45 tonnes attributed to recreational fishing, and New South Wales has similar figures. But when it comes to eating calamari, 
We're all champions. And you can find out plenty of cooking advice and nutritional information at fishfiles.com.au. Australia's fisheries are among the best managed in the world. However, we can't rest on our laurels and past performance. Fish stocks are constantly changing and require ongoing monitoring. You can keep up with the current facts in the national status of key Australian fish stocks reports anytime you wish, just by clicking on fish.gov.au. Check it out now and see how FRDC is all about fishing for our future. Back on the East Coast, I'm out on the Nambucca River on my Quintrex 570 cruiseabout. I'm with that great bunch of Nam Buccaneers, Tony Didio and his boys. Stuff, eh? We want one about that wide across the head. We should put him out for life, mate. <laughs> Not really. Oh, well done. Ah. These are the better quality. That's it. That's good, mate. Just uh, keep it, yeah. Oh, nice. I got the snag, you got the fish. Off one onto the other. He's a stomper, this brother too. Good stuff. Nice fish. That's what we want. We need the net. Um, we might do with this one. It's a Jew. Ha <laughs> ha. All right. Here we go. Right on. Good on you. That's all we're after. Tough tone. This is beautiful. These are what we come down to see. <laughs> a lot of people don't seem to catch these little fellas, but it's just perseverance with the lures. It's just, you know, a lot of people give up in the last in the first few minutes of tossing these things. Yep. But at the end, you know, beautiful dew. I said, we're getting some nice flathead. Not a huge fish, but we're happy. And what size do you get them here? We can get them up to eight kilo. The last okay. big one I got was eight kilo. Beautiful, so 20 beautiful. pounders. Finally. Oh, there we go. Now this size flathead, they're the males and basically they sit around a female this time of year. These are the ones you can keep and take home, beautiful to eat, but uh, it's those big females, once they get over about three kilo, you certainly want to put them back. On another one of New South Wales' northern rivers, I'm on a fishing mission with a serious side. The target species here today is that noxious pest, the carp. I'm fishing with Zach from Gamakatsu Hooks, and I can get closer to where the likely action is on my Hobie kayak than he can in our Quintrex boat. So Zach climbs the bank and oh, finds the perfect casting angle. <laughs> <Get him. laughs> yes! Yeah, baby! <laughs> 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 Classic catch. God, they're heavy. <laughs> He's got him coming down the rapids backwards. Oh, ho, ho. He's a good one. Yes. One, two. <laughs> That's good. Oh. Actually got a carp muster on this weekend at Korokai. The local fishing club's got a, uh, a carp muster on where people can go out there and catch these fish and they end up dumping all these fish because obviously they're a real pest out here in the waterways. They eat all the native 
Australian fish larvae, so they basically wipe out the species. They dirty up the rivers. They're continually rolling in the mud, so nice pristine rivers end up turning into quite murky, muddy waters that other fish and other species can't survive in. That's two, two less. We're gonna have to worry about in these systems. Well, the South Australian coastline is certainly rugged. And with this ruggedness comes a nice, remote, quiet place with no people and plenty of fish. I've got this beautiful 2.7 metre coastal fishing rod now. As you can see, it's a Shimano Revolution. Beautiful stick, enables me to get up and above the rocks and that's why I use these long rods. Obviously a nice long cast as well. And it's matched up with this 4000 FE. This is one of Shimano's latest reels. It's a Sedona and I've got 10 pound braid and a 20 pound trace. This lovely uh, chrome lure, this is one of the, the Gillies branded lures, bait fish. Now you might think clambering around these rocks is a bit dangerous, but uh, I've even got a life jacket on. This fella right here on my waist, absolutely perfect. If I fall in, well at least I'll be able to pull the cord and I won't be risking my life. Ooh! <laughs> They're a gorgeous fish, aren't they? Now the funny thing is, they're a great predator, but uh, a fish this size, a big mull away, who would devour this in seconds? Oh, good jump. Woohoo! <laughs> nice Aussie salmon. A big school just went past. Oh, yeah. Look at that fella. He's in close to the rocks now. Look at that. Beautiful. Woo! All right. Great sport fish, these guys. Super slim line. A bit like a, a kingfish. No real teeth in the mouth. There we go. <laughs> now they grow. Gosh, three or four times bigger than this down here. This is only a little fella. They grow up over 10 pounds here, so four, four and a half, five kilo fish, which are about this long. But this is a great capture. And that sharp gamma katsu straight in the mouth. But a very powerful fish and a, a real predator out there in the ocean. And we'll slide it back in. Well, I hope you enjoyed my fishing video. If you did, make sure you like it and comment below. If you're new to this channel, subscribe and tell a friend and make sure you press the notification bell so you're notified of our next video.